Hi, in this lab we will see the monitoring aspects of Azure AI service. As we have already uh, understood that we have alerts option, we have metrics option, we have diagnostic settings option to monitor your Azure AI service. Let us start with alerts. So here we can create an alert rule, click on alerts and then go to create alert rule. Then first thing that you have to select is scope. So if you see scope is already selected which is your Azure AI service resource. And then go to condition. So under condition you need to select the signal. Signal is nothing but the event for which you want to create the alert. When you click on see all signals you have all these events for which you can create the alert. So let us select uh, some event uh, like uh, list keys. Where is list keys? Mm. Yeah. So here if you click on list keys and say apply. And here you will also be able to see the chart. And you can select the time over last 6 hours you want to see. Or last 12 hours value you want to see here in the chart. Okay. And then here you can specify event level. Like whether it is a critical event or is it a just a warning. Okay. And then here you need to uh, select the status. Whether it is a failed status or started or succeeded. So basically all, all of these needs to be selected as uh, yes. Okay. Rest all you can leave as it is. Then go to actions. Here you can select. This is an optional uh, action uh, section where you can select if you want to do any action like if you want to send an email or you want to do some kind of logic app running in the background. So we'll leave for now this as is and in the details section you need to specify resource group where you want to create this alert. For now the resource group is selected as the same resource group where your Azure AI service is present. So let's leave it like that and then you have to specify your alert rule name. Let's say something like alert list key. Okay. Give some meaningful name so that you understand this alert is for which kind of event. And then just say next and then it will create the alert rule. So alert rule is created. Now uh, let's go and go to keys and endpoint and try to do some activity on your keys. Let's say I will do something like regenerate key. Okay. Or try to show key or uh, you need to use as your CLI command to list your keys. So basically we have given the uh, signal as list keys, right? So try to do some list key command from as your CLI and then you will see that alert will be present there. So let us do list key. Okay, copy this. Let's open Azure. Yeah, so here you see I have uh, tried listing the keys by using Azure CLI command. Here I have given the name of the service and the resource group where the service is uh, present. So we are trying to list the keys. And now if you go to your alert section and check the Okay, it takes some time before the alerts comes here. Yeah, now if you go to your alerts section, you see we have the alerts listed here. So we have tried to list the keys two times. So alerts got fired here, right? So this was how you can uh, create alerts and then get notified for any problems in your Azure AI service. So if this is just a simple uh, list key event, you can uh, create alerts for different uh, options that you can uh, create alerts for metrics also. Let's say you have got 10 different uh, errors in last two hours. You can create event if the error count is increasing beyond 10. Okay. And then we have something called metrics. So under metrics, if you see here, you can select multiple different options like let's say success uh, 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 server errors. 
so if you go to server errors and then select count so you can get what errors you are getting or if you select the requests how many requests you have got in last 1 hour if you want to check successful calls let's say and then say count so if you see here there is a spike right so here you will get exact value uh, that number of successful calls is 2 so if you see here you are getting the value as 2 so this way you have different options which you can use to monitor your azure ai service and get the complete in inside information of your different successful calls or errors or any other latency related performance related issues that may have occurred in your azure ai service and you can take appropriate actions based on the severity or of the issue yeah so this was all about monitoring of your azure ai service thank you